Hey, this is Presh Talwalkar. You have two ropes and a lighter. These are special ropes. Each rope burns in exactly 60 minutes. The ropes, however, do not burn at a constant rate. So you don't know that half the rope burns in 30 minutes or that X percent of the rope burns in X percent of the time. The problem for you is how can you measure 45 minutes by burning the ropes? Now some of you may have heard this problem, so in this video I'm going to pose a variation. How can you measure 50 minutes by burning the ropes? Give these problems a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for the solution. So it takes a little bit of ingenuity to measure 45 minutes. I'm going to explain the steps first, and then I'm going to show you how it works in a little animation. The key is we start by lighting the ropes in three different places. At the same time, we'll light one end of one rope and both ends of the other rope. The rope which has two flames is going to burn two times as fast as it normally would, so it's going to burn up in 30 minutes. At this point, the other rope will have 30 minutes remaining on it. So you then light the other end of that rope, and that will give you a rope which is burning two times as fast as it normally would. So that remaining rope will burn up in 15 minutes. So if you add up the 30 minutes and the 15 minutes, you get a total of 45 minutes from start to end. So let's see how this works. We start by lighting the ropes in three places. We light one end of one rope and both ends of the other rope. Now we'll let the flames go. The rope which had two flames on it is going to burn two times as fast. So at that point, 30 minutes have elapsed. At exactly that moment, you want to start a flame at the other end of the other rope. So this rope, which should burn in 30 minutes with a single flame, will now burn two times as fast because it has two flames. So this rope will end up burning in 15 minutes. 30 plus 15 gets you 45 minutes from start to end. So now let's tackle the next problem. How can we measure 50 minutes? We already know how to measure 30 minutes. We light one rope at both ends. This rope will burn up in 30 minutes. So the question is, how do we measure 20 minutes? The key is that if one rope burns in 30 minutes when it has two flames, the same rope will burn in 20 minutes when it has three flames going. So how are we going to get three flames going? Well, we're going to use a little trick. We're going to light the rope at one end, and we're also going to light it somewhere in the middle. The flame in the middle is actually going to split off in both directions. So that's how you're going to end up getting three flames on this rope. So this rope, which would burn in 60 minutes with a single flame, is now going to burn in one-third the time. It's going to burn in 20 minutes with three flames. Now, two of the flames may end up meeting, and I'm going to show you what to do in that case. You actually just light the rope in another spot. But if you do this correctly, you're going to measure 20 minutes, and then 30 plus 20 is equal to 50. So let's see how this works. So we start by lighting one rope at both of its ends. We already know how to do this. This is going to measure 30 minutes. Exactly when this rope burns out, you want to light the other rope in two different places. You light it at one end, and then you light it somewhere in the middle. So three flames are going to come from that. Now, if what I showed you just happened, where you have two of the flames meeting, you're only going to end up with one flame remaining on the rope. So what you then do is you repeat this by lighting this somewhere in the middle. Now, that middle flame is going to split off in two flames, so you keep on lighting the rope so that you always have three flames going. If you do this, in the limit, you're going to measure that this rope is going to burn three times as fast, so it's going to burn in 20 minutes, and therefore you have 30 plus 20, which equals 50 minutes. Did you figure it out? Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math and game theory. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, which you can follow on Facebook, Google+, and Patreon. You can catch me on social media, at Press Talwalker. And if you like this video, please check out my books. There are links in the video description.